All right, y'all. I just got done building my little uh, inside lathe, turning area, finishing area. Uh, if you're working in an area and you have your lathe in an area that's filled with dust and you need some place to turn, because some of these finishes take a day or two for them to of turning to finish up, this is something I did for me. That way I can move it inside. I can take stuff off the lathe, bring it in here, and while I'm finishing, I can still be making dust making sawdust outside. What I did is I got uh, got on eBay and I found this spindle. It was like, a, I don't know, $30, $33. And it originally came with a little saw for this side. What they used it for, I don't know. Uh, but this is how it came. So I thought, well, this is great because I have a uh, a piece here, an adapter that'll go into my chuck that I used to use on my drill. I can fit in there. So once you get this, get it about where you want it on the shaft, you can mark your holes, drill your holes, and you want to mount it good before you tighten these up. That way you don't have any twist in it. And then it'll turn freely. And that's that. And that'll turn freely. And you can turn it by hand if you want to, like I was doing on a, on a few of mine. Or you can go out and get this motor. Now, the motor that I chose, uh, it'll go from 0 to 135 RPM. And I have a variable speed control. That way I can turn it way up, way down. I ordered it off of Amazon. And, well, turn it right side up. And there's the numbers on it. But this here had a 12 millimeter shaft. This base here is a 10 millimeter. I also found a little coupling, a 10 to 12 meter, 12 millimeter coupling. Now you stick that on there. Get it mounted up flush. And I, I mean, I lucked out because the distance on these is great. I mean, it, they just slides right up in there. So I didn't have to worry about any elevation changes or making any wooden shims or metal brackets. And this is not going to have very little torque, if any, on it. Because all I'm doing is turning a piece for... Uh, my finishing you know i'm not going to be cutting anything if anything i'll turn up the speed and i'll sand some so i just made this little wooden bracket right here and that goes on the end and that keeps it from moving side to side too much and once i do that then i got this here you tighten your chuck adapter you put your chuck on and you're ready to go anything you can grab on your lathe you can grab there or you can get your little spindle adapters uh, you use for your smaller pieces say uh, uh, pepper mills or any of your calls that you're making something small you can just mount it straight in the drill and use it and then whenever you turn it on and you can go down real slow and that's as fast as it goes right there which is as fast as I would need it for any sanding but as I turn it down if I'm doing finish work and letting it run you know right in there or a little bit slower even would be good and so that's the full range of it there. And if you'll also notice, there's the controller when you turn it on. 
you can turn it up or you can turn it down. Now the wiring on the back, let's see if we can get in here, there you go. It's just a three plug. I had an old uh, pump that I had a cord off of because the pump went bad. So I got it wired up for my 110. And then you have, you can make it go counterclockwise or counterclockwise, whichever way you wish. And all it takes is moving that white wire up and down to change your clockwise and counterclockwise. Yeah, when I built this setup, I put on a, uh, a longer piece of wood out front. That way you can put something real heavy on here, whether it's a heavy bowl or a long piece, just whatever you want on there. You ain't got to worry about it tipping over. So here it is. Uh, you know, just, I could say you got, the chuck was a hundred dollars. This piece is $30. It was about 10 for the coupling. Uh, it was around a hundred for the motor. All the wood, well, I had that in the shop. So, add it up, and there's what it cost. Uh, tell me what you think. Give me some feedback. Talk to y'all later. Bye.